today we're going to continue to work with our different uh, toolbar options to create the gasket design and some new things we're going to be adding to this lesson are trim, extend, edit polyline, and offset which we haven't talked about too much yet. To start everything off let's open up a brand new sheet I'm going to make sure that I format my units to two points after the decimal and click OK. And I'm going to do something we haven't done so far. I'm going to change the interval between the dots. So right now if I right click and go to settings, my dot spacing is at a half inch. I'm going to change this in both the X and Y direction to Oh, I'm sorry, that's the snap spacing. We're changing the grid spacing to one inch. Click OK. And under View, go to Zoom, Zoom Extents, and we're all set up to start. Notice that if we go back to check this, our grid spacing is set up at 1 inch intervals, but our snap spacing is still set at 0.5. This is still good, this is what we want. We're going to go to line, and it asks us to specify the first point. I'm going to tell it to start at 4. 6 and click enter. So now we should be over one, two, three, four, and up 6 from the origin. Next I'm going to turn on the ortho by going down to my toolbar here and I'm going to switch ortho mode to on. This is going to make it snap to right angles only. And it will control the cursor movement. I'm going to move it below the last point we selected. And create a line that's two units long. I'm going to move to the right of that and make a line that is one unit long. Just below that again, make another vertical line that's 2.5 units long. I'm going to turn off the snap, which I guess it was already off. Move the cursor to the right of the last point and make a horizontal line that's about seven units long. Now this is actually kind of common during the initial design stage. We may not know all the dimensions at the beginning. We'll end up retrieving some dimensions from other things. So in your graphics window, go and right mouse click, select enter, and that'll exit out of your line command. And down in the status bar, I'm going to uh, turn the other things off. So the only things I do have switched on are going to be grid display and ortho mode. I'm going to turn the other settings off. We're going to go back to line, which we could just click here, but another way is right click, repeat line, and that saves you from moving your mouse around too much. We're going to make sure we have the object snap toolbar pulled up, and go to snap to endpoint. point. 
which again allows us to snap to the closest endpoint of objects like lines and arcs. And we're going to pick the top left vertical line and snap to that endpoint. We're going to move the cursor to the right and type in 3. It's about 3 units long. Right mouse click and select enter to exit out of that. Select circle. And we're going to uh, let's go for a center radius. We want it to start at 11.5 comma 6. And this is just looking off your sheet. We're going to move the cursor to uh, 13.6 well actually let's make it a little easier we're just going to type in a radius of 1.5 select line again and the command prompt area it asks you to specify the first point um, I'm going to go ahead and set our initial point at 11 1.5 and the line starts at this location we're going to click snap to tangent and select the circle right click and hit enter notice that even though we had ortho turned on and only let us move at 90 degree angles the snap took priority over that took precedence over that and completed the shape as we intended it to be uh, go ahead and right mouse click if you haven't already and click enter to end that command we're going to go back down here to our status bar and reset the options so none of the buttons are switched on. Okay, so now we have a nice clean screen. Close the object snap toolbar. And we'll be done for this section of the tutorial.